How's it going, sir? Hi, how are you? It is a real pleasure to meet you. Very nice and to meet you. You as well, man. My name is Daniel. Really nice to meet you. So tell us, uh, what, how, what do you got going on here at the uh, Christmas Parade this year? We're thrilled to be here at the parade. We're going to be riding, of course, in the Batmobile because I played Robin in the TV series Batman. I'm still climbing the wall, but for different reasons. And uh, we're here because we want everybody to celebrate a wonderful Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year to everybody. We send our love. We want everybody to be healthy and happy in the coming year. And we also are very involved with charity. I don't know if you know this, we operate Gentle Giants Rescue, the largest giant breed dog rescue in the world. Uh, yes, I do actually. Actually, uh, I forget which show I was at, and uh, you had a display. It was, it was a Comic-Con that I was at not too yes. long ago, and you had a yes. display showing it. Well, we've got dog, and the exciting thing is for every dog owner in America, and I don't know if you know this, there are 80 million dogs in America in 67 million homes, and we found a way to double the lifespan of dogs. We have them living up to 27 years, and this is all charity. We take nothing from it, but we make our Gentle Giants dog food that is sold in Walmart all across the country, and it's all for charity. But most important, your dog lives another 10 years or more and the dog owner has their canine companion with them for another 10 years. I think that's what we all want, right? Wowie zowie! <laughs> Golly gee Williker citizen! And we also have an exhibit coming up at the Hollywood Museum. Next month, that's right. It's got a gigantic Batman exhibit. Bat cave, bat copters, bat planes, every, everything bat, every, every piece of paraphernalia. It's like being in Gotham City, in Commissioner Gordon's office, or Wayne Manor, or in the bat cave. It's everything. And we're going to shine the bat signal again in honor of Adam West, who we just lost. And we'll yeah, unfortunately. Forever. That's so awesome. You know, our new movie coming out too. Well, yes, we have our movie, uh, Batman vs. Two Face, animated from Warner Brothers. Actually, it just came out. My voice is Robin, Adam West's voice is Batman, and portraying Two Face, none other than William Shatner. So here you've got the two most iconic TV shows in history, Batman and Star Trek, the actors working together. How about that? And it's the sequel to Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. It came out last year from Warner and Brothers. And was the number one animated superhero movie of 2016. You know, I think, see, as a kid of the 90s, right, like, I think it's the most beautiful time right now. Like, I'm sure you guys must be super excited with everything coming back into play. Like, DC Comics is right in the limelight, you know, with Justice League and all that. I mean, even though I'm sure they may recast Robin, you are Robin, so. But how do you feel about, like, this whole explosion of the comics coming back into the, into the limelight, pretty much? Well, I think it's wonderful. However, I'm still playing Robin. <laughs> <laughs> so, you never know. We're not giving up here. This is true. This is true. Actually, I, I heard uh, there was a commenter on, online a while back who was yes. talking about maybe doing an alternate timeline where different timelines cross over, and that means that anyone could come back, right? Well, well think of it this way. When William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy left the series, look at all those Star Trek movies they did. And they were much older, weren't they? And everybody loved them, okay? It, it, you love the people that were in your home, that gave you so many hours of happiness. And I think there's a big resurgence. You never know what's gonna happen. Stay tuned, Bat fans. Sometimes you think something's coming back and then something's really never left. Oh, exactly, exactly. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Citizen.